Your controller is capable of controlling many scoreboards at one time, as well as controlling a single scoreboard at a time. You will need to follow a few easy steps to set up the controller and scoreboard each time you use them for a game. It is necessary to set up the controller and scoreboard every time you use them, even if you only have a single board at your field or gym, and even if you only use one scoreboard at a time at your facility. Let's begin with a single scoreboard setup. Turn on the one scoreboard you want to operate. If possible, turn off all other scoreboards. Turn on your controller. Wait for the scoreboard to flash an eye on the display. Press the horn key to save your selection into the controller memory. Press the new game key to reset all scores to zero and reset the inning to one. If you lose power to the scoreboard, the controller automatically saves the last game information for the scoreboard. Now begin scoring your game. Turn on any scoreboard you want to control for your game. Turn on the controller. Press the H plus key until you see the scoreboard you wish to use flash an I or zero. Press the G plus key to toggle the flashing scoreboard between either I or zero. I means the scoreboard will be included in the controller for this game. O means the scoreboard is out and will not be used by the controller for this game. Press the H plus key to communicate with the next scoreboard you want to use in your game. Again, press the G plus key to toggle this next scoreboard between either a flashing I or flashing zero. Every scoreboard you want to control for the game needs to have an I selected on the display. Press the horn key to lock and save the scoreboard selections into the controller memory. Press the new game key to reset all scores to zero and reset the inning to one. Now begin scoring your game. If you can't turn off a particular scoreboard or perhaps can't see all the scoreboards at your facility from one setup location, press the H plus key to locate the scoreboard that is flashing an I or O. Press the G plus key to select O to take the scoreboard out of your controller setup. Selecting O for any scoreboard that is powered on but not needed for your game will make the scoreboard out and not be able to be controlled by your controller for this particular game. The H plus key adds a run to the home team score. The H minus key removes a run from the home team score. The G plus key adds a run to the guest score. The G minus key removes a run from the guest score. Press the B key to increase the ball count by one. Pressing the S key increases the strike count by one. Press the O key to increase the outs by one. If your scoreboard has hits and errors, press the H key to activate the hits display. Press the E key to activate the error display. Press the I plus key to increase the inning by one. Press the I minus key to decrease the inning by one. Press the new game key to reset the scoreboard to a new game. Your scoreboard may be able to display the game clock timer and the pitch count display for both teams. To activate the game clock display on your scoreboard, press and hold the set clock key for three to four seconds. The scoreboard will display either GC or PC depending on the last game you scored. Use the I plus key and the I minus key to toggle between GC for game clock or PC for the pitch count display. For using the game clock, toggle to GC. Press the H plus key to add minutes to the game clock. Press the H minus key to remove minutes from the game clock. Press the G plus key to add seconds to the game clock. Press the G minus key to remove seconds from the game clock. Press the set clock key to save your selection. Press the start stop switch to start and stop the game clock. To activate the pitch count display on your scoreboard, 
Press and hold the set clock key for 3 to 4 seconds. Use the I plus key and the I minus key to toggle to PC. Press the set clock key to save your selection. Pressing the start stop switch in the down position will allow you to use the guess pitch count display. Pressing the start stop switch in the up position will allow you to use the home pitch count display. Press the plus one second button to increase the pitch count by one. Press the minus one second button to decrease the pitch count by one. Turn off the controller at the end of every game. Insert the controller into the charging cradle. The charger will automatically charge your controller. A green light will be displayed on the charger cradle when your controller is fully charged. Always keep the controller turned off and in the charging cradle until ready to use. 